Yo, 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 hello guys, and welcome back to the channel, and back to my subscriber league here on NHL 20. Before the video starts, if you want to be in the league and join this series, you can make your own player. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, of course, and comment a player down below what you want his name to be and what position you would like to play. Currently, there are four teams in this league. Next year, I'm hoping to add four more teams to the league. And on top of that, the way the league works, it's like a tournament based. You're straight into the playoffs. You're straight into the running for the Metro Cup. Yeah, it says Stanley Cup, but it's the Metro Cup we're playing for. And uh, yeah, your team's automatically in the running. It's a tournament you know, based series. So if you want to be a, a player, let me know. And I'll add you to next year's draft. You'll get to see where you get drafted and what team you get to go to. And as you guys can see, man, LA is crushing it on the western side. Uh, just dominating Miami. Miami, that's going to be a rough game. But we do have a, a an actual competitive series over here when it's Toronto versus Texas. So we'll go, before we hop into the game, we're going to take a look really quickly at... Um, honestly, I guess we'll take a look at who... Since they're both on the eastern side, who's going to need to be stopped in this next game? In, in game number three for Toronto versus Texas. Now, Gregory Shelton, I think he'll have to be stopped. He's got three goals. He, he's doing the majority of the scoring for Toronto. And uh, they're going. he's their shooter. He's the guy that's putting the puck in the back of the net. So you got to stop this guy. Um, of course, he's working next to uh, Paul. Uh, I don't want to mess up his last name. Um, then, you, of course, you got you got Hooten for, for Texas. He, he's the guy who's getting it done, man. He's like the – he's moving that puck around. He's getting assist. I believe he, he leads in assist for the series. Well, he's tied with the Paul there, but, uh, you know, he, he's getting it done. I think what Texas really needs, though, they need a guy who's – now, this uh, Berlini is, is putting – He's helping out too, but honestly, I think we need a guy to help Jamie Bell put the puck put the puck in the back of the net. I think that's the one thing that they need. Both of these teams, they need someone else to start getting those numbers. Right now, this series, it's basically like Gregory Shelton versus Jamie Bell. And so the question is, who can step up? Maybe Luke Adams? I, I'm not too sure. I'm hoping Luke Adams can step up for his team. That is a subscriber. We'll have to time will tell um, if if he can step up or not. He does have one goal, but uh, he's going to need more than that if he wants to make it to the Metro Cup. So let's go ahead. Let's hop into this game. What we're going to do is we're going to sim. This is going to be a quicker episode because I am kind of crunched on time. So what we'll do here, we're going to sim period one, sim period two, and we're going to hop into period three. So let's go ahead. Sim, simming period one, it is a tied game. See, no one breaking through here. Alrighty, so here we go. Let me make sure to turn down my TV so you don't hear an echo. But here we go. It is Jamie Bell facing off right there. I believe that was uh, Gregory Sheldon. You can't really see the names. I'm going to have to fix that. You can't really see the names on the Toronto jerseys here. But now it's Hamilton. Pass out to Falk. Back to Falk to... Berlini Hooten has it, and wow, good puck movement by the Texas team to start it off, start this third period off. So now it's Gregory Shelton here. Shelton's gonna take a shot on that, but it gets stopped by the pad right there. Now, really quickly, let's take a look at our goalies coming into this game. Um, for I want to know who is actually playing here. So four goalies for Toronto. You have Angel Smith. In the back of the net. And then for Texas, you have Casey Woods. You see their stats so far on the game. Let's go ahead and get it. Both of those guys are subscribers. So Jamie Bell taking it down the ice here. He's going to go around the back of the net. Oh, but that gets blocked. And now Toronto has the puck. So here we go. Let's see what happens here. They're going to take their time a little bit. Texas has so far this period done better. With puck control, and that was almost a mistake. Oh, my goodness. That was a dangerous pass right there by Casey Woods. We'll see what happens here. Taking it down the ice. 
And he's going to hold on to it. There, nice pass. Bad shot, though. And, oh, wow, what a steal. Luke Adams now has it. The guy who's been quiet, subscriber. We're wanting him to make a name for himself. He needs to go around the back of the net. Oh, tried to pass. That was a good attempt there, but just doesn't execute it correctly. And this series, man, has been so, so close. It really has. You can't really call it Luke Adams. That was Steven Cruz out to Luke Adams. What's Luke Adams going to do? He's going to pass it out. And it's a saved shot by the pad for Casey Woods. But Toronto holds on to possession. Steven Cruz picks it up, passes it out. Back to Steven Cruz. Cruz is a subscriber. And Braun now has it out to Luke Adams who loses possession. And now give it to Texas now. This is a big game for Texas. You don't want to lose at home. We've talked about that before. You only have to worry once you lose at home. And uh, right now, they're close to doing so. Toronto has it, and they will, might have a man advantage if they can get down there. Um, one of the Texas players lost his stick, but it looks like he would get it back in time. And Toronto has it. Oh, nice stop there on the pass. Out to Brody, who's going to hold on to it. And then a wild shot right there. And now Texas has it. Passing it out. Nice pass off the boards. Can he get there? He's muscling him. But no, Toronto stops him. That was a good play right there. Could have been deadly. Could have been a breakaway. But Toronto's defense stops it. So now, bad pass out. And oh my god, we have a breakaway. Oh my god, I'm not even going to attempt that. Can he save it? But he does. Angel Smith saves it. Wow. Goalie of the match right there, in my opinion. How do you miss a breakaway like that? What a play by Angel Smith. And then he had one of his own teammates just bulldozing over him. And he, you know, he just maintains that focus, that eye. An amazing goalie. My question is, who's, we're going to have uh, subscriber awards just like we do in my um, Madden series. So I wonder who's going to win. Goalie of the year. Another save right there by Angel Smith giving his Toronto team the lead. But, my, yeah, that's my question, man. Who do you think is going to win goalie of the year? Um, we'll see. We will then have offensive skater of the year award, and then we'll have the defensive skater of the year award. So three awards, I think, as far as those go in this series. And, oh, my goodness, cover it. He's not able to cover it there. Angel Smith does finally cover it. 44 seconds left in this third period. Man, could we have a, well, okay, a little bit of glitching out there going on. It looked a little, a little nasty, but uh, we got, we got, we have a, uh, man, this is one hell of a series. I, I mean, this is, I don't know. I can't really tell you who, who has the upper hand here. They look so even. Um, I will say so far in this matchup, I'd give it to Texas. Andrew Smith has kept their team in, but all it takes is one shot, man. So you really don't know. Hamilton out to Hooten. I'd like to see Hooten get a little more involved in the offense. He's going to hold it and pass it to Hamilton. Hamilton's going to take that shot. Yep, and Angel Smith's going to deny him. Angel Smith, man, he's good. I would, I mean, I want to see Hooten take a little more shots. And I think if you're Texas, you got to get Jamie Bell involved. I mean, he is your leader. He's your captain. We'll see Luke Adams now. Can he win this faceoff? This is an important one. And he does it, man. He, he's got that size. He uses his body to his advantage but that's a horrible pass right there now it's Pearson in Texas Smith he's gonna go in it's a save but barely oh, oh man Angel Smith just got enough of that puck to knock it out that almost was tragic for Toronto right there it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot more from from uh, Toronto if they want to try and win this game and still won one of these games on the uh, on the road they're gonna need to step it up on offense and there it is. Oh, see, another bad pass. Luke Adams saves it, though. He's, he, and he muscles him. And that's Ling, Lingbrum, who has it. Oh, my God. What was that? Offsides. Bad play. And this one's probably going to go into overtime. And we get to see a three-on-three. -three. Man, this series right here could go down as one of the closest series in history, especially with that save right there. Luke Adams. I mean, not excuse me, not Luke Adams, but um, Angel Smith showing muscle, showing strength as he, as his own teammates crashed into him. He still held on to the puck. And now we are, we are going into overtime. We are going into overtime, man. What a game number three. We have Bell, Jamie Bell, Kyle Hooten, and Gregory Shelton going up against each other. Jamie Bell, can he win it? 
He does. He's going to pass it out to Hooten. Hooten's going to take it. What's he going to do? I like that. Put Hooten in there. Put Jamie Bell in there. Let's see some subscriber action three on three here. Who no! And uh, Angel Smith once again somehow keeps his team in it. You, if, Dude, you've got to get some offense going if you're Toronto. you got to. I mean, you're barely hanging on by a string, but it's evened up. Come on, someone step up for Toronto. We'll see what happens here. Hooten, oh my god. Hooten doesn't have the speed. Can he break it? Can he cut the angle? Oh, he does. He makes him put that puck on net in a weird way. So, luckily, Texas has it now. Will we see the first shootout in history? Possibly. We'll see what happens here, though. Pass away. Bad pass. That's Gregory Shelton cutting it off. Now it's Brody going up. We'll see Texas's defense now. What's going to happen here? Pass out to um, Paul there, who is, I don't even want to attempt that last name. Hooten gets it. And he passes it out to Jamie Bell. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. What's going to happen here? Jamie Bell, their team leader. He's going to take it. Oh, and he tries the backhand. It's a crazy shot. They're not even close. And now, all of a sudden, Toronto's got it. Luke Adams all by himself. Kind of cherry-picking right there. And, oh, what defense, though, by Hooten. Did you just see the defense by Hooten? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's, let's go back really quick. We have to give credit where credit is due. Did you see Luke Adams? The way he... Look. He pretends like he's going for a line change. Look at this. No, uh, Texas completely forgot about Luke Adams here. They got tunnel vision. He pretends like he's going for a line change. He says, no, you know what? We got the ball. Come on. Or we got the puck. I'm right here. Doesn't cross the line. He's, he's cherry picking. If you don't know what that is, it's a term I believe that's used in basketball, but I'm using it here. I don't know if it's called something else, but look at this. He's behind, and then he's going to take it. But do you see... Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't Hooten. Oh my god, my bad, dude. It was Hamilton. What defense by Hamilton? Dude, Luke Adams, he's got the size, but he does not have the speed. He, ah, dude, wow. And then he breaks it up enough to where Luke Adams just can't even get a sh the shot that he wants. And Luke Adams is, he's beating himself up about that one. But here we go. There's still more hockey to play here. What's going to happen now? Pass out to Hamilton. Smith has it. There are no subscribers in right now for Texas. Hamilton, oh, and Angel Smith once again keeping his team in. Luke Adams to Berg. What's he going to do with it? Now one minute left. Oh, and Luke Adams had a sh No, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke Adams had a shot on that but couldn't finish it. And now we'll see what happens here. Oh, man. Oh, no. And Angel Smith somehow keeps this. Game tied in. Oh, no. Angel Smith had a hooking call. Dude, what are you doing? Luke Adams is choking right now in game three. Guess what? That's now going to make it a three on four. Now Toronto's just praying that they can make it to the shootout. They're going to dump it off here. And hopefully, that I mean, you ca you have a chance. 40 seconds is what you have to burn, though. Angel Smith, man, he's put this team on his back. He's only given up one goal. But, yeah, this is going to be hard for him. Yeah, dump that off. Okay, so the first attack, they, they did good. They, they defended the first attack. We'll see if they can defend the second. And here we go. Smith's going to take it here. Here's the second attack coming. They'll probably have time for one more attack after this. Unless Steven Cruz takes it, dumps it off. They're going to have time for one more. So far, Toronto's defense has done exactly has done really good. Angel Smith has not even had to make a save or anything. And now, actually, they might not even get another attack. Maybe Toronto could steal it here. Texas kind of blowing away, blowing away that uh the chance there and a wild shot on net. And we are going to see our first ever shootout, guys. Holy crap! I am excited. We are about to see our first ever shootout. So, we'll see if Luke Adams can maybe make up for the mistakes he's made. He, he's had the pressure on him, without a doubt. But, uh, it's still, it's 1-1. Texas is out shooting Toronto by 9. We'll see what happens here. The first ever shootout in our in the series and in history. And it's going to be Casey Woods, goalie, going up against Angel Smith. And the first guy is going to be Paul. Of course, that makes sense. Casey Woods, eh, he's going to shut that down. Hopefully, well, I don't know, man. We'll see who's going to take it here. Um, so just a heads up, I do believe this game, EA's 
shooting is a little off. We'll now get to see Jamie Bell, though. He'll lead. We'll get to see what he does here. Take a shot, take a shot. And that's, see, that's the problem with it. It does glitch out a little bit, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and warn you. Really shoot where they when they should. They kind of just run into the goalie, but there will be a shot taken. It just you know how EA does, man. So here we go, Gregory Shelton, subscriber. He's gonna oh see okay. At least he took the shot. He tried to get around there. He should have hooked it all the way around to the right side. He had open net, but he just didn't do it. Just I don't know. Now <laughs> it's anybody's game now, man. Now it's Hooten. We'll see what Hooten does. Come on, who and he no, he gets poke checked. They just suck, man, when it comes to shootouts, bro. The computer just, they, the goalies are like, I don't know, too good or, or something. But so far, tied game. Now we got real players coming in. Brody, maybe maybe one of the real players can step up. Mm, he just runs into the goalie like a dummy. And, yeah, it's going to basically be who can step up first. I mean, this is just embarrassing. Honestly, I'd rather them just take a fucking shot at on the blue line at this point. We'll see what Folk does here. What's he going to do with it? And he tries to slide it through the five hole, but that's not going to work. At least they're showing some attempts to try, but yeah, that's not happening. We might be here all day, boys. We might be here all day. Now, who is it? Eakin? Please put this in the back of the net, dude. Honestly, I just want someone to win. I really do. I just want someone to win it. I might even edit this down to only the good shots if I can remember. Or I might just let you guys see the first one so you kind of know what it's like. Schultz! I might have to hop in here. I might have to hop in here and do it. What would be embarrassing, though, is if I can't do anything better. Then it's like I'm calling myself out. So we'll see here. Toronto. Berg, please put this in the back. Oh, my God. They're just retard, Dude, they're just... They don't, uh, the computers just don't know what they're doing, man, when it comes to, when it comes to the shootouts. So, you know, I, I honestly, I don't know. We'll see, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to flip a coin, <laughs> and whichever one I land on, I will control. If I miss, I'll switch over to Texas, shoot with them, and we'll, we'll do it that way. Unless this guy can put it in the net right now. No, okay. Th this is just this is just embarrassing. This is just straight up freaking embarrassing, man. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to. There's no way I can quick sim it. So what I have to do is I have to take control. Now I am no, I am not the best player by any means. So I will control Texas first. If I miss, I'll I'll move it over to Toronto and we'll do it that way. I, I do feel like I will have a better chance though than one of these guys here and look yep see there it is now look it is what it is all right i'm not gonna sit i'm matter of fact i'm not gonna edit i'm gonna let you guys see what it is when you know this first episode i'm gonna let you see it i'm not gonna cut it down so you guys don't think it was it was cheating or anything like that if i would have missed that goal i would have put i would have played as toronto and i would have done it until i hit it but I, I, right now, I just, I'm not going to sit through a bunch of dumb shootouts where they're just running into people. You know what I mean? So, that's just, it is what it is. Now, that, whether you think that's cheating or not, I, I honestly, I don't care. I, I'm not going to sit here and just, it, it, would, it would never end if we did it like that. I think, honestly, if it goes into a shootout, you can't, you can't argue that. It, like, if you're the losing side, like Toronto, okay, they lost this game. Well, guess what? Why did you let it go to the shootout? You, you're, you're not, you can't, you don't have a valuable argument. It's not like you can say we were the better team and we only lost because, well, Metro took the sticks and, and won it for Texas. No, you weren't. Y'all were evenly matched, and you can't complain. You should have won the game in regular time if you were the better team. So Texas takes this game and they take it. They deserve it. They took it two to one. We'll see what Toronto can do in game four. Um, I don't like doing that. But, I mean, until the computer gets, until EA can get their crap together and make a good sports game, well, then we got to do, we got to make do with what we have. So, with that out of the way, we are moving on to a game four. And we're going to be watching LA versus Miami in next episode. Miami is at home. 
and they need a win or their series and their Metro Cup chances are over. So, that being said, out of the whole league, Jared Bazak is still the number one player by far by two points. Ryan Hatcher, his teammate's the one that's closest to him after that. And so we'll see if uh, someone can. I mean, look at this. It's nothing but L.A. And the same amount of games have been played. The top four players are nothing but from L.A. I think L.A. could take it all this year. I, I really do, it's, it, which is a surprise to me. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.